How is everybody doing today? Uh, it's uh, Wednesday, April 28th, and it's about 7.30 in the evening. Uh, I was just doing some house cleaning. The weather outside's been bad, so I thought I would give you a little more uh, detailed uh, tour of the house. I kind of went through it pretty quickly the last time and uh, kind of skipped around, so I think I'll give you a full tour of it this time. Take a look outside. You can see it's getting a little dark, but it's been a kind of a just cloudy, rainy day. Stopped raining, but it's uh, a little cool outside. Okay, and this is my kitchen. This is, uh, I kind of painted these cabinets uh, about three, two years ago. They originally were a dark cabinet. And like I said, uh, actually this is probably about the third time I painted them. But uh, they turned out pretty good. This is my sink, double, double sink, lower cabinets. I've got my rug down in front of the cabinets, just to cushion the floor. And I've got a stove, black. I've got my little stash of water there. My wife tells me I've got to drink water, a bunch of water each day, so that's what I do. Got my bananas over there. Like I said, uh, this is my refrigerator. I have a lot of, it's a small refrigerator. I've got a lot of, you know, family and friends and postcards that I get, you know, from uh, during Christmas time and just all kinds of different pictures. A lot of nieces and nephews pictures. This is a look. You all had a video of uh, me redoing my patio. You can kind of see the neighbors around. Nothing's changed. The deck's still in good shape. Just a gloomy day. I've got my black cabinet in the corner with just little knickknacks in it. A little storage bin there. Over on the other side, you see I got some of my golf shoes. <laughs> I play quite a bit of golf, so I'm always wearing them out. So I've got plenty to fall back on. This is my kitchen table. The big area rug that it sits under. And uh, this is a. I microwave over here with a little see-through window into the living room. And this is a black cabinet that I have. Down, down the road I got it from my uh, grandmother. Uh, she's been passed away for, you know, it's been over 40 years. And uh, it was a brown pressed wood. And uh, I just uh, decided to paint it. I couldn't sand it. And, redo it so I painted it black and just got some dishes and stuff little knickknacks on it and this is a cabinet that I redid I uh, uh, did it about 10 years ago it just kind of fit the spot bought it at a flea market and sanded it down and redid it and it's just got a little storage compartment inside and then on top I've just got pictures of family brother and mother and all that and then just a little wooden nook or knacks that I stacked in there and this door goes to my laundry room it's pretty dirty so pardon me but like I said I got my washer and dryer and I just kind of store all kinds of different junk in here. It's 
kind of hidden from the public, so it works out pretty good. And I've got a little wash basin, but right there you can see it's more of a catch-all. I store stuff in it, I don't ever use it. And then this is my uh, heating unit. I had that put in, and it's going on two years. It's fairly new, so. And my water heater. That's probably about five years old. All right, going into the living room. I've just kind of got the news on right now. I've got matching uh, leather sofas. Coffee table, it's got all my medicine on it. Unfortunately, eh, right before the new year, I found out that I had cancer, so uh, I'm on medication, but I'm doing fine right now. So just staying on top of it. Now, there's my TV, it's a 60 inch TV, and I got that for my uh, 35 years of service at my work. I had a choice of getting a clock or this, but I already had the clock, which I'll show you here in just a second. We'll take a look outside the front part. Like I said, it's kind of a gloomy day. As you can see some of my neighbors. Not much, it hadn't been a pretty day. I hadn't been out today, so like I said, I decided to do some cleaning inside. There's my little wreath on the door. <laughs> and then I've got my little table here against the wall and got a little knickknacks on it. And then I got, I just put this wall art up uh, about a week ago. Change, just change things around a little bit. Like I said, when you're staying in all the time, there's not a lot to do, so you just have to keep finding things to do. And then this is the other clock that I got. I got this for, for 30 years of service at my work, and uh, it's a nice clock. And I could have gotten another one that was probably a little bit better than that, but I needed the TV, so I just went on and went with the TV on my 35 year. This is my hallway. I've just got different pictures and a lot of them are of my son. Unfortunately, I lost him back in 2006. He was uh, 21 at the time. And so I just uh, got kind of a wall of tribute to him. And uh, then there's some mix and match pictures that I have. Just different things. The best best round I shot out on our golf course. said it's just a kind of mix of my golf and uh, just pictures of friends and a few trophies here and there and I showed you my bedroom the last time on the quick tour and it's kind of a catch-all room right now I, I haven't, uh, those are the pictures I had in the living room that I took down and put that wall art on, so I gotta find a home for them. And I did buy new curtains for it. Semi matches some of the colors there, but uh, it's okay. And I bought me a little end table and lamp, put the pictures up, that's the uh, closet over there. And then this is a picture that my uh, wife gave me before I came back from the Philippines. And I just had to trim it down a little bit and put it in a frame. 
pretty neat picture if you look at it from different angles it changes but it's a birds it's a nice picture okay let's go into my bathroom i've got another bench that my sister gave me it was wood but it was kind of chipped up and stuff so i sanded it down and painted it it's got a high back on it and just a little art hanging up over top of it and that's my kind of a curtain outside the shower curtain that I have my, this is where I of course take the showers and stuff but it's all kind of covered in with the, the curtains thing and this is my towel cabinet that I roll the towels up put them in it works out pretty good picture and I've just got some flowers over top of it and then this is a little cabinet that I've got here that uh, I put kind of medicines in and you know any of the daily you know deodorant and cologne and just little miscellaneous items and this is my comfort seat if you want to call it <laughs> where you have to do your business I've got a little corner cabinet here that I store, you know, little knickknacks and stuff that I need for the bathroom. And I've got a flower beside that, and then there's my mirror and my sink. And then I, same thing about these cabinets, about the same time that I painted my grandmother's uh, cabinet in the kitchen, I painted uh, the bathroom ones too. So. Turned out pretty good. Just like I said, little little wall art here and there. Not a whole lot. My wife says I should learn to dance, but I told her I don't want to scare anybody away, so <laughs> I'll just I'll do that in private time. Just some more things hanging on the wall. Some trophies, but you know, I coached, uh, coached my son in all of the different sports. I coached baseball, Little League Baseball, and uh, basketball. I did that for about 13 years. And then I got inducted into the high school Hall of Fame for golf. And uh, so that's my plaque that they gave me different pictures. This is my picture of me and my brother-in-law and played in a tournament with him. Just another picture of me. Different things. And at the end I've got a little cabinet there. Picture of me and my son and then some artifacts from my dad that he had. And a picture of uh, one of the landmarks here in Marchstown is my old Kentucky home. Very popular. I've still got tape on the thing. I've got to paint the trim. I haven't done that yet. I did put one coat on it, but I haven't gotten to around to the other. Okay, this is back in my bedroom. Uh, uh, this little clock on the wall here is uh, one that I got for 10 years of service at my work. I like that clock. It keeps pretty good time. And I've got my dresser, big dresser that's got all kinds of drawers in it, and a TV, and a chair here in the corner, got my flip flops underneath of it, wait for the summertime so I can wear them, I've got a little table underneath the window, not much to see out back, the screen's kind of got the white marks on it, I, Tried to wash the windows with my power sprayer, and unfortunately, I I stripped the uh, wire on the screen. So my bad. Got a plant in the corner, little wall art in my bed. I've only got one uh, pillow on the outside, with the, the other cover is right here, but. Here. Here's another wall art 
It's a little bigger than my night table. That's, uh, that's a CPAT machine, that white. It's, uh, I, I don't use it all the time, but it, it's supposed to help you sleep and breathe. It runs, it pushes oxygen into you, but uh, I don't wear it that often. All right, and then a little closet. Uh, got a cabinet right here where all the, you know, little little knickknacks and my sheets and things like that in it. And I've got all my clothes hanging on the side, shoes and stuff above. This will probably be my uh, wife's closet when she gets here, or we'll share it one or the other. <laughs> Just have to wait and see. All right, we're going to the last bedroom. And y'all have seen this one before in my other video. This is the closet right here. And, uh, and got cabinet or a dresser here. Got the TV sitting on top of it. This is a clock that uh, my parents gave me many years ago, so. Like I said, I've just kind of got knickknacks in here, extra stuff that's stored. There's a plant I have sitting down in front of the, the uh, window. Again, there's not much to see outside. It's kind of, but you can see some of my neighbor's houses. dresser that matches the other one. This is a taller one. Just got different things stored in it. And the bed. It's a queen size bed. And that on the corner with all the paper stacked on it is my printer. And this is just a little nightstand and then over here is my computer and just knickknacks and stuff. I'm playing my wife's videos on it right now. I kind of pass the time watching those and I just decided to go ahead and make another little one, uh, little video myself to pass the day by. Okay, that's the tour of the house. Like I said, not the most exciting. It's a small house in standards with other people, but uh, it's home and it's comfortable. And I hope everybody is safe. You all uh, take care of yourself. Love you, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.